The Story of Richard III Richard was born at Fotheringay Castle in Northamptonshire during the War of the Roses. Richard's father was the Duke of York. He battled for many years to take the crown from his cousin King Henry VI. The Duke of York and his son Edmund were killed in battle when Richard was just a boy. Richard had two other brothers called Edward and George. Richard's brother Edward wanted to take the crown from King Henry too. He succeeded and became king when Richard was just eight years old. Henry won the crown back for a little while and Edward and Richard escaped to France. Eventually they came back and Edward killed Henry, becoming king again at last. Richard was then sent to live with his uncle, the Earl of Warwick, to learn how to be a nobleman. He grew up to be an excellent soldier and fought several great battles to keep the kingdom safe for his brother. Sadly, his brother George wasn't trustworthy and loyal to Edward. He kept changing sides and in the end, Edward had him executed for treason. Life in England was peaceful for a while. King Edward got married and had two sons, and Richard got married and had a son too. But one day, Edward became ill with the flu and died. Richard was in the north when he heard the news, but he came home immediately, picking up Edward's sons on the way. The eldest boy, also called Edward, was 12 years old and would now become the king. Richard has promised to keep him safe until his coronation. Richard didn't keep that promise. Instead, he put the princes in the Tower of London. The two young princes were never seen again. Then Richard became the king. Richard made new laws which made life fairer for ordinary people and many of his subjects liked him. But many didn't and wanted someone else to be king. So they asked Henry Tudor of Wales to sail from France and take the crown from Richard. Richard was in Nottingham when he heard that Henry was on his way. He gathered his army and some friends to stop him. One nobleman, Lord Stanley, promised to be on Richard's side in what the fight. But secretly, he'd promised to be on Henry's side too. King Richard of York and Henry Tudor of Lancaster met in battle near Bosworth in Leicestershire on the 22nd of August, 1485. Richard had more soldiers on his side than Henry, but at the last minute, he was let down by Lord Stanley, who rushed to join Henry. Richard fought bravely, but he was killed. His crown was placed on Henry Tudor's head. Henry and his men took Richard's body into Leicester. It was buried without ceremony in the church of Greyfriars. Henry Tudor was the king and the War of the Roses was finally at an end.